All right. We're using a new camera here, so oh boy. And a new microphone. This took us like an hour to set up to get the settings. Well, right. actually, it's been like a month. You, well, you yeah. Know, like, you, <laughs> let's not forget all the failures in the previous days. We filmed like three different videos that were unusable because yeah. our settings were not right. And uh, yeah. that was obviously very frustrating. Yep. But today will not be frustrating. No, we've got this. We tested it. We know it's right. And our, our topic is extra exciting yep. and wonderful. And there's no way we could possibly be upset when talking about our wedding. Oh boy. Did you, did you hear my voice break? Yeah, I did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we have like a month to go until our wedding that never happened. Or, well, yeah. we'll talk about it. We are officially in our wedding month. Here we are. Uh, uh, should we refer to it as our wedding reception? Yeah. Because it's not a wedding. Well, you know what? Why don't you not spill the beans? We have like 30 questions here that people have asked. Yeah, especially to everyone that submitted. Yeah, I mean, we got so many and we tried to combine uh, where possible because a lot of people had the same questions or similar questions. So we've, we're trying to cover all the bases here. By the end of watching this video, you will know so much about our wedding that it will be like you were the one that planned it. Yep. It will be like you were the one getting married. <laughs> um, it will be like you were in attendance for this magical, magical That hasn't happened yet. Day. Here we go. <laughs> These are in no specific order, and I am annoyed about that because I was dictating questions to Shane, and he was writing them down. And I thought that he would group them in a way that would bring us through this event in a beautiful, flowing well, manner. There was a few different times that Hannah was like, so you can put that one by that other question. <laughs> and I was just like, uh-huh, and not doing that. And they're that. just all in a row. Like, I even told him where to group them, and he didn't. So they're not grouped, which really, really bothers me. Maybe, but we're going to be happy and excited about this. Maybe, yeah. I mean, we're getting, we're getting married. Well, we're married already. We are so married. But I'm <laughs> under no obligation to be excited about this. We could get divorced if I... Keep up my behavior. That's true. I feel like there's like something on your face. Okay, you're good now. We're good. I had my face in a bowl of milk before. I was <laughs> just sitting with my face in milk. I wanted to look, you know, silky. It wasn't milk. Video. Okay. No. Question number one Do we still want to be married? <laughs> anyway, the true question number one. Don't know why we're starting here, but <laughs> is your wedding indoor or outdoors? And what is the venue? You kind of grouped those together. I so did group them. I grouped the first two. And then you gave up. This is a heavy hitter. It's indoor and outdoor. Yeah, we wanted it to be outdoor. Like, ideally, if we knew it was going to be nice weather, it would be an outdoor wedding. Yeah. You know, both of us love that. But we did not want to be stressed about the weather. So our venue has indoor and outdoor. Um, the dinner is inside. The cocktail hour is like, outside in the courtyard. Oh, wait. Isn't it indoor? Nope. There's like a separate area for the cocktail hour. There's a couple different like buildings and areas and courtyards and mm -hmm. spaces. So a maze. it'll be a mix. There's depending, a maze. There's not a maze. A mix depending on what the weather is like, you mm -hmm. know, and we'll put as much of it outside as possible. Hay rides. There are not hay rides. This is not, <laughs> this is going to be a fun video with you doing this. Uh, and what is the venue? We're not going to give the exact name just for like safety reasons, um, but it is a old historic. Blarmy's Pumpkin Patch. <laughs> it is an old historic mansion. If you're wondering what wedding planning has been like, this is it. <laughs> we, we're like meeting with vendors and I am just like, he does can, this in can, we have a, can we have a moon bounce? Yep. And you're serious though about that one. <laughs> what would you think about a giant jack-o-lantern? Uh-huh. <laughs> Stuff like that. He really just, he says this to people that we don't know. And a few of our vendors like get it, like they laugh. Mm -hmm. And others, Hannah has to be like, he doesn't really want a giant jack-o-lantern. <laughs> He's kidding. <laughs> All right, the next question, do we have a contingency plan for the Delta variant or just in general, you know, with COVID cases, or do we have a, a second plan, basically? Welcome to our July HelloFresh video. Today, we are making Middle Eastern chickpea bowls with pistachio rice and garlicky white sauce. Do we have to make the bowl or 
HelloFresh has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know you'll get something delicious. I would like it to be known that I'm being extremely brave and I'm chopping onions without my onion goggles. They're right there, they're like in your face. They hurt really badly. <laughs> All right, look what my mom just presented me with. I didn't know where these were. My onion goggles. How did you find these? You just knew? Starting this August, HelloFresh is launching their Taste of Summer series with everything from delicious grilled main dishes to farm fresh sides. And each dish is designed to maximize flavors of the season while minimizing oven use. You can save up to 30% by using HelloFresh versus grocery store shopping. And HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients mean there's less prep for you and less wasted food. Go to HelloFresh.com and use our code SQUIRMYINGRUBS14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use our code SQUIRMYINGRUBS14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. Uh, <laughs> that looks so good. Wait, let me smell it. <laughs> <laughs> That might be the best smell I've ever smelled. Uh huh. Other than you. Oh, thanks. No. Nope. We don't. <laughs> no, I did get a sense of this as we talk more. Yeah. But like, we're we're just moving forward now. Yeah. It is what it is, and. uh Yep. No, we don't have a backup. Plan. We don't. I mean, it's it, the wedding is very soon. You know, we're not given the exact date, but it is very soon. There, you know, there is no time to uh, postpone. And, and People it, are, you know, coming here, and yeah, like we can't postpone. And it is like still back from what we, oh yeah, kind of thought it would be. Um, so you know, it's gonna be safe. It's not a lot of be, people. Yeah, there's like no. Time. But no, 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 that's another question. Let's <laughs> not even move into that yet. So no, we don't really have a backup plan. You know, if there was a something like really unexpected that happened, I guess we would try to. I mean, people have booked flights, so like maybe we would have it here at our house. I know, but then I, we would lose the, the food. Like we're not paying for a second round. At yeah, our, you know, yeah. it's just, it's it's really, this has been really stressful and difficult. Um, I think that we would don't be, have a backup plan. That would be the overall theme of this video. Yeah. Everything's been stressful. Yeah. And sort of related to this, I'm skipping down like seven questions because you didn't group them, but people asked a lot. <laughs> Um, both people that were also planning a wedding right now, you know, a lot of people are planning weddings because most people canceled theirs last year. Um, are you requiring your guests to be fully vaccinated? Like people wanted advice on that. Should they do it? You know, are we doing it? Whatever. The answer is yes. We are requiring everyone that comes, you know, besides like kids uh, who can't get vaccinated to be fully vaccinated, yeah. which has cut our guest list down. Like we found out that yeah. family members that we assumed were vaccinated were not because we required vaccinations for yeah. our wedding. So uh, we're not having as many guests as we thought we were going to have because of that. And because some people are uncomfortable traveling, uh, even though they are vaccinated. Yeah. Um, so that yeah. that makes us feel a lot safer. Like this is really very different than if we had had it last year at this time yeah. with cases going and vaccines didn't exist yet. Like this is not the same situation. And it's it's been tough because, you know, right now, you know, Delta cases are on the rise. Yeah. And I completely understand vaccinated people's hesitancy to, you know, Fly. travel and be with others. And yeah. we get it. So it's crappy, but, mm -hmm. you know, we're not going to delay another year and yeah. uh, plan it all again. It's been two years now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just not doing it. All right. Was it easy or difficult to find an accessible venue? And I think we talked about this. A year and a half yeah. ago when we found the venue, but it's not in our minds anymore. I have no idea what we said. I hope that what we say is like similar to that. I would say that it was a Pretty little tough, yeah. it was a little difficult. Yeah. A lot a lot of places like were like partly accessible. Um, but then like other important areas were not. Like mm -hmm. the the reception area was, but the area where we would actually get married was off a flight of stairs. Yeah. Or things like that. Um, yeah, I remember we said I think at some point that a lot of times the areas for the guests were accessible, but the air like you know you would get married up at the top of a staircase where yeah. everyone would be below you, or you know the the table that the that we're supposed to sit at during dinner is like on a stage, you know <laughs> stuff that kind of it would be really awkward yeah. if we weren't up there. Um, so we ruled out a lot of places based on that. But the venue that we do have is really accessible. Mm -hmm. They've made every you know area accessible, which we're excited about. Yeah, I'll be able to stay in my wheelchair the whole time. That was never. <laughs> we never considered you getting I out of your. I considered the the option that you might hold me like a baby 
throughout the whole night. You I know? see. Yeah, that's true. To get anywhere that I had to go if it wasn't. Are we doing another ceremony or a renewal of vows? That was a big question that we had for months, like up until a couple, like a month ago, maybe. Yeah, we did not know the answer to that question. Because, we, you know, it's like everyone's coming to like have this wedding yeah. event. We felt like it might be underwhelming mm-hmm. if there was no ceremony. Yep. Um, but at the same time, Hannah and I privately were like, We don't want to do uh, a ceremony. We don't want to, like, we already did it. And it yeah. was special and lovely. Like, it's not our style to, like, renew yeah, vows. Yeah, or, like, reenact it. Like, we yeah. just felt, it felt so uncomfortable for us. And so eventually we were like, let's just not. And we just are doing a reception. So we're excited about that. Yeah, we talked to, like, our close family. And all of their advice was like, we don't care. Like, yeah. we don't need to sit through a ceremony. Like, yeah. if you guys don't want to, don't do it. Yeah. So, so we're not. Yeah. We are still doing a first look, which sort of gives us that like walk down the aisle type thing. Um, not an aisle, but you know, I'll be walking and Shane won't see me for the first time in the same kind of way. And I think your dad's going to walk you in. Yeah. To the like when, when we're announced. Right? Oh no. No, oh, into the, into the into the first look. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's good my try bad. though. My bad. My Shane's bad. really trying to remember all the details of this wedding. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Um, but we're still doing that, so that'll be fun to have like yeah. a similar kind of thing without like the public speaking. I didn't want to do the talking. Your dad's gonna present you to me. Here is my daughter. Uh huh. And we all live together. I'm so that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is Chloe coming to the reception? No, no, not the reception. <laughs> we still haven't decided if she's going to come in the morning for photos. We're leaning toward no, just to for simplicity, but also like maybe we do want her in some photos, so we might have her come, but not for the reception. She is not a huge like crowd dog or, or strangers. Strangers, yeah. yeah. I mean, she likes family gatherings where mm-hmm. she knows people. Like she would love that, but um, with people she's never met, like lots of people she's never met, yeah. it is not. We don't want to bring her to a strange place and be like, "This is fine." Like, you know. we would just be on edge the whole time. Like, yeah, worrying that someone that like works there would walk by her in a way that Creeps she didn't out. like, and yeah. it would be a thing. So. Yes, and if you don't know, she has a a past, like a difficult past, so yeah. she's not very trusting of people that she doesn't know. So, like, if someone comes up to her. You know, and sticks their hand out on the street, she'll bark at them because she yeah. doesn't understand. Like a handout is like yeah. a normal thing to do. She thinks you're about to hit her. Yeah, she thinks so sad. hitting her. Um, so yeah, people that she knows are great, and like some people she just like loves that she meets off the bat, and you're yeah. like, what the heck? Um, but others she's scared of. So we're just gonna let her not <laughs> stress. Yeah. She'll have a, a treat yourself day at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you now able to have everyone attend that you wanted? Do we cover this already? Sort of, but just to reiterate, like no. Yeah, no. <laughs> a lot of people couldn't couldn't make it. Yeah. The the planning of this reception was really delayed for a variety of reasons, mostly the pandemic. That we didn't um, know if it was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, and we didn't want to like book a bunch of things and then have it fall through again. So we invited everyone pretty late and then everything that we talked about with COVID. Yeah. Just a lot of people can't make it. Yeah. And we understand that, but it's also like Oh, like, yeah. it would have been fun to have everyone, you know. Yeah, I mean, thinking back to last year, like, my family in Poland had plane tickets to come to our wedding. Yeah. And they had to get, you know, they had to cancel those, obviously, and our wedding was rescheduled, and now they can't come. So, yeah. it, because of COVID, um, which is sad. And we so. both have a lot of family on the East Coast yep. that aren't making it. Um, so, yeah, it's, yep. it's a little bit of a bummer. Mm-hmm. Do you still have a best man and maid of honor? No, they've both backed out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, the answer is yes, we do. <laughs> it's my brother and Hannah's best friend. Yeah. So it, yeah, they they were always going to be there, and we're yeah. excited to have them. And since there's no ceremony, they're not going to be like walking down the aisle and stuff, but they're going to be there, getting ready with us in our respective areas, and mm-hmm. you know, taking photos. We're going to do photos before, and then they'll be sitting with us at like the head table. Yeah. We're gonna. Um, Pro, what is that? Proceed. Proceed. Press, process. Process. <laughs> I oh, I think it's either. We're gonna walk into the march. We're gonna march. We're gonna march into the like ballroom for dinner, and they will be going first. So they'll get like some sort of you know yeah. moment where they walk. But yeah, we should make them dance on the way in. Oh my god! But then we, we'll be like, yeah, we are too. And, and then, then we'll then just we cut we the music and yeah. we will. <laughs> Are you wearing a different dress? That was such a common question. People asking 
Yeah. Like just general questions, you know, I kind of consolidated them into like dress. And the answer is no, I'm not. It's the same (laughs) dress. (laughs) Sorry. I I had, that was. That was a good one. Um, No, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm wearing a different dress basically. Uh, I bought, my dress saga is extremely complicated. Let's, Let's narrow it down here. Let's, what do you mean? Like, but give the, 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 highlights? the highlights. Like, don't tell the whole story. It's extremely rude. Uh, this video is going to be like four hours long. I, all right, going back to my childhood, <laughs> I bought a dress for our wedding that we thought we were going to have. It was, a, you know, a, a, a real wedding dress, like a big, <laughs> big wedding dress. And, um, Which I, I still have not seen. Shane has still not seen it, doesn't know anything about it, except, no. Except I do know it's big. I've yeah. heard a few times it's big. It's like a big wedding dress. It's like my dream dress. And I, I really still love it. So um, when we did the small ceremony last year, I didn't want to wear it because I was like, no, I still want to wear it for our real wedding. You know, our, our reception party thing. So I wore my mom's wedding dress to our like private ceremony, which mm-hmm. was wonderful. I love that dress. It was so pretty. And lots of people thought that the, the photo of like you and your mom Oh yeah, each wearing it. Yep, it was really cute. Yep, and it was, it was so cute. Yeah, and uh, I think we talked about that dress, but my mom bought it in the seventies, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure in like a small boutique. Yeah, somewhere maybe New York. I don't know. People have asked where it's from. It's like I I don't know. But there's even more fun. There's more. It's more complicated. I'm like trying to figure out how to say this quickly. Yeah. Anyway, so for this for this you know reception that we're doing i will be wearing the original yeah. big dress and that's what we'll do at the first look in yes and all the know. photos mm-hmm. before um i think I'll, I'll wear it for like the cocktail hour and then so over the past year and a half since i purchased that dress it has been almost two years it was october of 2019 mm-hmm. um it is extremely tight i could not get it on like i couldn't wear it uh for a while and I was like worrying about that and trying to figure out what to do. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to wear it. Um, I, I got my like fitting done and the seamstress, she really, she was like, no, no, this does fit. And I was like, I don't think it does. And she was like, let all your air out. And I was like, okay. And she got this dress on me. I like started actually panicking because it was so tight. You were like, how? Yeah, I was like hyper. I've never had that happen to me before, but I was like hyperventilating. And so finally I like relaxed and it was okay. But I, like, can't sit in the dress. I can't, like, I mean, I can sit, but I can't, like, eat. Like, it would be so uncomfortable, you know? Like, I can't. Can't breathe. It's, I can barely breathe. It is so tight. Um, so at that appointment, I asked about off-the-rack dresses at um, the place that I got my dress, which we'll talk about all the vendors at the end because that was a question. But <laughs> I asked if they had any off-the-rack dresses that were more loose, like, comfortable uh, stretchy if yeah. possible, and they brought out like two stretchy dresses that they had off the rack. Um, what does off the rack mean? Off the rack means it's a sample dress that people have tried on and they are done with it, so uh, they're discounting it like it's just a, a dress that a bunch of people have tried on, uh, okay. and so it's like you know, so 50, it's like dirty, 80% it's off. Like dirty. It's not dirty, <laughs> it can be dirty. This is not the mine was not dirty. Um, and so I tried it on, it is stretchy and amazing. and the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. So I have that to wear for dinner and the, like, you know, dancing, whatever, games after yeah. after dinner. So I'm then, excited to see if people realize that you have switched dresses. I think they are going to realize when they see the two dresses. I hope I realize. I, you should let me know when you do. <laughs> what kind of food are you having? Oh, ready to hear a menu? I'll let Shane take it away. Short ribs with mashed potatoes and carrots. Right? Yep. Glazed in like brown sugar. Just so you know, all of the entrees come with the mashed potatoes and carrots. Yep. Uh, chicken. What was it? Herb roasted wingtip chicken is the name. Yes. Delicious. Delicious. Pesto pasta. Pesto sun dried tomato pasta. <laughs> uh, what was our balsamic portobello mushroom? Balsamic portobello mushroom. That's it. And then, like, really yummy appetizers. Oh, yeah. We have the best appetizers. And I honestly don't even remember what they are. But I know that really there good. are salmon puffs. Salmon cream puff things. Uh-huh. Um, uh, mini beef wellingtons, like, in so a little puff good. pastry. Like, melt in your mouth. Delicious. Shane loved those. Those were amazing. Um, Cucumber. 
Oh, you came up with uh, guacamole? guacamole on top. They were like, yep. Yeah. I and caprese skewers. Yeah. <laughs> Skewering. Uh, and then dessert, we have an assortment of like little trinket desserts. You know what I mean? Like mini desserts, like, like little mini tarts, little mini uh, pies. Cookies. I don't know if we're having cookies. No, I, I, cookies. I would hope to have cookies. It's I don't know. We haven't like we haven't. I'm just letting you know that we currently don't have cookies. So if you want to add those in, we need to like talk about that. I would like to. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, and then a cake that we're not eating. Yes, we're taking it home. We we didn't want to. So basically, we're having like little mini desserts for our guests, um, and and a s'more station. We're, we're getting a s'more station. I was getting to that. Which that is going to be really fun. That was the headline. Yeah, line. I know. But I was like, I otherwise it sounds so like let down, you know, like we're just having some mini desserts <laughs> and a s'more station. So there's going to be all these like mini cakes and stuff. Yeah. And we didn't want to like cut our, we didn't want to have to get a huge cake because we wanted to have a bunch of different desserts for people. Like uh -huh. my favorite thing is like going to a buffet and getting like six different desserts. Yeah. So I didn't want people to be served like a slice of cake. That's just like not my style and like I'm sort of like the dessert yeah person of this event yeah um so I wanted like a, a wide a selection uh -huh. which is what we're doing so the cake is just for show it's a one tier little like eight inch cake that we're gonna have like you know flowers on it's gonna be at the top of the tier of all the mini desserts mm -hmm. so we're gonna take it home have it like at home basically yeah. just us and it only has like it's like a small cake like you'd have for like a yeah. birthday party so it, it's not like huge and then the s'more station we're bringing in a vendor yeah. to do make your own s'mores, yep. and they're like like fancy, fun, different s'mores. So yep. that'll be exciting. Yes, and again, we will put all of our vendors. We'll list them all at the end. Yeah, if you are from Minnesota and are curious about like who we're using, yeah, maybe we should just put it in the description. Yeah, we can do that too. Yeah, we're still recording, right? I can't see the. Like, oh my god, we never pressed record. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> you got me. It says, did I? Did yeah. you get your <laughs> eyelash? Okay. See how I, I didn't even let you like sit in the fear. No. I said, just kidding, like two seconds after. I'm a little bit worried that you're out of focus. Maybe tell me. No, my face is in the box. You're sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, what thing have we been most split on? And this is the thing. I was reading Shane your questions verbatim. And Shane paraphrased all of them. This one says, what thing have we been most split on? I'm sure that is not what I said to you. I'm sure that's not how someone phrased it. It was probably like, what aspect of planning the wedding have you and Shane most disagreed about? Yeah, thank you. But you wrote, what thing have we been most split on? I was planning for you to like re redo the questions. How would I find them? Well, no, I mean like from memory. <laughs> like I just did. Or using like reasoning. Okay, Shane. It's been making this video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think we've really been split on much. The only thing that I can think of is the my seat. Oh you yes. Know, I if I had my way, I would not be wearing a seat because I don't really care. Um, and suits are hard to put on. They're difficult to move my arms in. Mm -hmm. Just I don't know. Don't really care for them. Yeah. Um, Hannah wants me to look dapper which mm -hmm. i understand yeah so that has been a little area of like yep disagreement we've compromised um that shane is going to take the jacket off after the photos <laughs> and just spend the rest it. in his button down short sleeve he will not wear a long sleeve button down so he will be wearing a short sleeve like white shirt for the rest of the wedding maybe maybe i'll leave the jacket on we're having it tailored so it fits better, and we'll see. Yeah. Like, we're going to remove the lining, so it's Hopefully. not as heavy. Yeah. I have a hobby, too. Mm -hmm. um, and if that all goes to plan, maybe I can leave it on the whole time. Wow. <laughs> blah, 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 divorce. All right. This is a common question also. Do you have a public registry? And I, I know we addressed this like two years ago. Yeah. No, we do not have a public registry. Thank you for asking. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people asked if they could like, you know, send us gifts or look at it, whatever. Um, we are not making our registry public. Thank you for your support <laughs> in watching our videos. Yeah. Share our videos. That's how you said. That's what's on our registry. Everyone. Yeah. Watch share, our videos. Share our videos far and wide. Yeah. Did you hire a wedding planner? 
Our only regret <laughs> for this whole wedding planning couple of years, two years now, has been that we waited until two weeks ago to hire a wedding planner because we realized that our wedding was coming up in less than two months and, and that we are terrible at nothing planning. had been planned right. and like we just had a meeting with our wedding planner yesterday and we were like do you realize like all the things you're doing now and how none of that would have gotten done like we were all laughing because our wedding would have literally been like nothing like i cannot explain to you how there would not have been flowers there would not have been music there would not have been there would have been but it would have been like the week before or like the day before, I would have gone to like Michael's and bought some fake flowers. Like I, Which, it yeah, was just we did not think of it. We would have been like, ah, yeah. It would have been a very stressful situation. And we found out that we need to make like name tags for everyone with what food they're getting, and you like put them at their place. Like all of these things that we would have had to be doing right now that I cannot fathom. So yeah, we said that our wedding planner. It's been tough. Not to make excuses because. Obviously, lots of people plan their own wedding. Yeah. And they find and they do a great job. We're just not good at that. And we're not into it. Like, we, neither of us wanted to do it. And I think that's the problem, you know? Yeah. It was like after. So we've been like really, really, really busy with like the various things that we do. Um, and at the end of the day, after working, when there is a huge list of wedding items that need to get handled, yeah. time and time again, we kept being like, Nope. We'll do it tomorrow. Can't we'll do, do it, it tomorrow. Yeah. And then we don't. We just never did. Um, so we did hire a wedding planner. Yeah. They've been so helpful. Yeah. Uh we'll list their info below as well. Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> All right. Will Hannah be doing Shane's care on wedding day? Sort of, no, yes, no. Perfect. Like in the beginning, I'm gonna be hanging out with my brother. Separate. Well, like, but we're gonna wake up together. Like, yeah, we're not yeah, spending yeah. the night apart. So, yeah. like, I'll help Shane get dressed in the morning in like yeah. regular clothes. Uh -huh. Um, and then when we get to the venue at you know in the mid morning, uh -huh. um, we're gonna all have like breakfast together there and stuff. But then we're gonna split apart for getting ready. And so Andrew will help Shane. I'll be in a different area. Andrew will try to get my suit on. If Andrew <laughs> needs help, I might have to come down. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll see. Um, and then like during the actual like reception. We'll be together and we'll be mingling. So yeah, here and there, yeah, like I'll, I'll still be like, hey, I'm having a sip of my drink. Yeah, but if I'm with like you know my family, I'll ask them. Yeah. So. Oh, this is the next question. Will you be spending the night apart? No, I don't think so. Uh -huh. We thought about it if we, you know, if we should do with our best man and maid of honor, but we're doing like very scaled down uh, bachelor and bachelorette like evenings mm -hmm. the night before yeah um because our best man and maid of honor aren't getting in until then yeah um so we don't like go out and do fun stuff separately but, separately yeah um but no we're not gonna like sleep apart especially because we're all staying <laughs> at this house yeah and, and we're already staying married. here with us <laughs> yeah and we're married and so like and and both of them are going to have their, like, partners with them. So uh -huh. we're not going to, like, leave them. It's just, you know, we're all just going to be in this house together. It'll uh -huh. be really fun. Just not the traditional, like, going to separate yeah. hotels or whatever. What's most exciting and most annoying about the planning? Ooh, what should we do first? Should I do? Yeah. I would like working with our wedding planner because we thought it was going to be, you know, we were very scared about what this wedding would look like. Yeah. And they very confidently have shown us that it will be pretty and fun and full of decorations. And yeah, like, and like unique touches. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. Um, so like seeing all that come together yeah. has been the best part for me. And the food, obviously. Yeah, I was going to say for, for most exciting part about planning is like looking forward now to, I think like, I, I'm excited to like arrive and yeah. see what this looks like after all of the, you know, talking and like mock-up photos and stuff. I'm really excited to just go there and be like, wow, this is so pretty. <laughs> And we haven't been to our venue in two years, so it'll I be hope really we still fun. like it. I'm sure we'll still like it. <laughs> uh, most annoying has been all the delays with the pandemic. Yeah, and, and like just the, the uncertainty. Yeah. Exactly. All right. One thing we almost forgot. Well, see, we don't. We're not quite done yet. So I think um, <laughs> we'll let you know. One thing, like we're still forgetting. We can talk about that. Uh, we do not. I forgot to hire a makeup artist. Um, again we weren't sure this was going to happen until like a month ago and so i didn't mm -hmm. i just didn't want to book another vendor that we would have to reschedule 
And so I didn't. And now all the makeup artists are booked up. So if you are a makeup artist, <laughs> are you really need to travel. <laughs> yeah, and you're available in a couple of weeks if you have a little bit of availability. Um, no, but our, our wedding planner is now like helping me look for one. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm really, I'm not like upset about it. I will just do my own makeup. You don't even need to do makeup. I'll, I'll just go, yeah, bare face. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> What did your dream wedding look like as a kid, and how is this the same or different? Both of us have the same answer for this, and it's that we never... Pumpkin patch. Oh. <laughs> we never thought about our dream weddings. No, this is a little bit sad. I never even thought I would get married. Yeah. For a while, I was like, no one's going to want to marry me. Yeah, that is sad. Not over that. I was getting older, but I never thought about my wedding. I just never... Like, I was not a person that was fantasizing about my wedding or planning it. I literally never thought about it yeah you know, like other people like i would hear other people talk about their dream weddings and it was like so uninteresting to me like it was just not my thing so and and that's like carried through like neither of us had any idea what we wanted so uh we're happy that like our wedding planner is helping yeah. create a vision because neither of us had any anything what were our priorities for the wedding another one that i'm sure is not how it was phrased but what are our priorities for the wedding? is that oh no that's a different one what are our priorities for the wedding? I mean, my biggest is just that I want, I want everyone to have a good time. Yeah. Like people are traveling and like going out of their way to be here, so I want them to have a good time. Yeah. And the food. The food. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, I think mine is the same. Just wanting everyone to be having fun. I just, I yeah, I just don't want there to be any moments where people are like, "What? What are we supposed to be doing? What is this?" Like. You know, we're trying to make sure that because there's not a ceremony, yeah. like we want people to know what is going on uh -huh. when they arrive, that like this is a cocktail hour. So, yeah, know, it make doesn't sure feel awkward. So yeah, so they're not just standing around like, why are we here? Uh, why are we here? Yeah. Who are these people? And I think another priority um, is the photos. Like I'm really oh, excited yeah. to have the photos of the event. So, you know, making sure that it looks visually appealing yeah. and and obviously our photographers are amazing so we're really really excited about that yeah i think having the photos would be nice yeah and you guys have seen studio 1252's photos before because we've done like yeah. two shoots with them and so you know knowing that that like i'm just so excited <laughs> you know color scheme is that a question that is literally what you wrote down. You did wrote really? color scheme, Shane. I thought I wrote it as a question. You did. You wrote color scheme question mark. So that was your question. What is our color scheme? Pink. No, like peachy. Yeah, there's like peachy. Peachy, pinky. Uh, like blush pink. Uh, like green from like the nature, like the leaves. My, I some green there. My suit is like a kind of medium blue. Yeah, medium blue. Yeah. Like a lighter blue. Like a light, yeah, lighter. It's a, it's a very interesting blue. It's not like baby blue. It's not like light, light blue. Yeah. It has a darker undertone. Whatever. But, uh, yeah. It's not like navy. So that with like uh, a peach, like, um, whatever that's called, boutonniere or whatever, like the peach uh -huh. flower. Um, puff. A puff is called. <laughs> a peach puff. A peach puff. <laughs> but yeah, I think like the combination of like bluish and, and like. And the, gold, right? And gold, gold yeah. accents. Um, yeah, that's generally. We have like a mood board, but it's there's like other colors in there. But that's like what I yeah. see in the photos. That's like what the photos have looked like. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell we're like really unsure about all of this. Don't worry, our wedding planner has it handled. Yeah, don't make it look good. You guys will figure out what the color scheme <laughs> is when we do when we see it in photos. <laughs> uh, will there be a honeymoon? No. I think so. <laughs> No, I guess we're just not going to... Maybe we'll do a honeymoon, like, in a couple of years. Sorry, my neck is tired. Oh. We have, like, business obligations, like, the week and the other week after. So it just really wasn't... There was no time. Yeah. Yeah, the next two months are really busy after yeah. the wedding. So we'll do it at some point. And we wanted it to be fun and not, like, th that it might get canceled uh -huh. before because of COVID. So we're just not planning mm -hmm. any sort of big trip right now. What kind of cake... We have our cake tasting coming up. It's not, we don't have it's it yet. It's this weekend, isn't it? Yeah, it's this weekend. Ah. So uh, we will let you know, but we're tasting um, vanilla cake, chocolate cake, and coconut cake, and then uh, five like icing type things. Yeah. Like a, it was like chocolate buttercream, I'm vanilla doing, buttercream. I'm doing all in for chocolate, chocolate. Nope, we're 100% not doing that. Um, raspberry buttercream, 
raspberry filling, which Ooh. is just like fresh raspberries, and fudge filling. No, chocolate cake, raspberry butter cream. Can we please do vanilla cake? Come on, you know I, I don't eat two? chocolate can cake. We get two? Can we get two? We're not. We're not getting two. You. I got Shane this huge chocolate raspberry like fudge cake of his dreams for his birthday. It literally was. The absolute. I found it online and I was like, oh my god, this is at a bakery like half an hour away. I got him this cake. <laughs> he had one bite. No, I had more than one bite. Come on, I didn't have a lot. But How I had much more did you have? Bite. Like half of a slice. Be fair. How many bites was it? How many times did I fork it in four, your mouth? Four or five. Four, you really think you ate that? <laughs> four bites. I will give you four bites, even though I know it was one. Shane ate four bites of one slice of this entire cake and then never wanted it again. So I'm you just, do not get to choose no, the wedding cake. And I know that. Don't. I've said from the beginning, like, Hannah, you make all the dessert, dessert yeah. decisions because I won't eat it. Thank like, you. I'll, I'll, I'll be excited about having a bite. One bite. And then I'll be like, yeah, that's enough. More mashed potatoes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so no, Shane will not be choosing the cake. He does not get to do that. We'll have like a cupcake that is your flavor. You can yeah, have that, you yeah. know? One individual cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> a mini one. A mini cupcake. All right, in terms of budget, what do you value most in terms of where your money goes? Good question. My priority was the food. Yes. Like, I really wanted really, really good food. And so we put a lot of our money in that area. That is more than half of our budget right <laughs> yeah. now is the food. So, and I mean, drinks. everything else is a lot less than that. Yeah. And then I think, you know, investing in the wedding planner was another thing where we were like, this isn't, the event is not going to be what we want it to be unless we do this. So that was like a no-brainer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think those two, food and just someone to like. Mm -hmm. And the, the wedding planner also does the floral and the like uh, – decor mm -hmm. like they're bringing in like couches for the courtyard stuff like that so that's all included in that and they like are that's yeah. one company doing all of that <laughs> all of like the look of the place which is really nice that we're not coordinating multiple like a floral and then like a yeah whatever other people mm -hmm. all right did you lose deposits were you able to easily reschedule we were able to easily reschedule yeah. we didn't have any problems rescheduling the problem was that when this first happened and shane and i got married privately mm -hmm. we wanted to cancel yeah. the reception we didn't want to put we didn't want to pay for like we just wanted our money back we were yeah. like we're married we're done we don't want to do a reception yeah. like we're happy the um, pandemic ruined everything yeah Blech. and we didn't want to plan the wedding we didn't want to do it like we were we were really just happy with what had happened that we were married and it's done yeah. um and we were not able to get our money back yeah so we postponed <laughs> yeah that's when we postponed by a year the options were basically like cancel and lose all of the money or do the event because we've already paid for it yeah so we just chose to do the event because we've already paid for it and that's the kind of thing like you know when we were signing up contracts and stuff never in a million billion years did the thought go through our minds of do you think there might be a pandemic yeah. that would make us have to cancel yeah no we were like yeah we'll be having a wedding yeah, so. we were like, nothing yeah. could ever make this not happen. You know, like, you just don't expect a pandemic. So, uh, uh, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. That was rough. Fun, fun, fun. But now that it's happening, we're excited about it. We're excited, it. yeah. We don't want to, yeah, we don't want to paint this over like, yeah, yeah. this event. Yeah. It feels like that at times, but overall, we're very excited. Yeah. Because we have to be. Because we have to be. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a follow-up question. Is there a part of you that's like, what's the point we already got married? <laughs> we basically answered that. That was our, our whole feeling was like, we're married. And we still we vacillate between like excitement. Is it vacillate or oscillate? Is it oscillate? Is vacillate a body part? <laughs> I don't know if vacillate's a word, is uh, it? I think vacillate. What is happening? I don't know. Our pool is like, there's like waves. Something didn't fall in, right? No, I think it's the blowing blower. over there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we vacillate. I'm going to pretend it's vacillate. Between like real excitement and like, oh, why are we doing this? Yeah. Even now. Has anything positive come from doing this like differently because of the pandemic? One thing that I can think of is I was really nervous about doing the ceremony part <laughs> of the wedding in front of people. Like, I didn't want to, I know we were going to do, like, privately, you know, private exchanging vows because I didn't want to do it in front of people. Like, I was just really nervous about even walking down the aisle and, like, everyone staring at me. That's not. Standing that's up. Not Hannah's cup of tea. No, standing up there and, like, having to say words. And I was just so nervous about it. 
Um, so I, I, I'm excited for the fact that that's not happening <laughs> at the reception, that that is already done and we did it privately and it was like much more comfortable that way. Yeah. And there's no moment where you'll be like in the spotlight yeah. and have to perform. Yep. Yeah. So you should see your speaking engagements. <laughs> what, <laughs> throwing up in the bathroom? <laughs> and just like five minutes before being like, Shane, I'm not doing it. I'm not I doing can't it. do it. I can't do it. I know. And then you go out and you're amazing. Everything's fine. And after you're like, wow, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> and then the next time, same thing. Not doing it. <laughs> well, thanks. Mine was postponed too. Did you end up replanning everything like me? Yes, partially because we hadn't planned it really by the time we postponed. You know, we had a couple of vendors, but like, again, we didn't have a vision for the look, whatever. Yeah. And our, our invitations were like navy blue and light blue. And I had decided that was like our theme. That's totally gone. That's not, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we definitely, it's a different idea for the wedding than we had two years ago. We didn't really replan. We just planned. Yeah. <laughs> Will there be a first dance? I don't, no, not really. I don't think so. We're not planning on it. No. I'm not a dancer. No. It would just be so, like, what are we going to do? I would roll over your dress so much. Yeah. It would just be a, a problem. A mess. Yeah. Yeah. We're just, and that, like, that doesn't mean anything to either of us. Yeah. There's no part of us no. that would be, like, doing it and being like, oh. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> it means nothing. So the only reason we would do it is because it's, like, a, a thing that people do. Which, yeah. Why would we do that? So, <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. And we've also gone back and forth of, like, should we even have dancing for anyone? Yeah. I was like, our family's not real, like, into that. Um, yeah. But the more we thought about it, I think we will have an area where dancing is happening. Yeah. And you know what? I think we'll probably end up dancing. Probably. But If other people are dancing. But not like that, only us. Yeah, that, yeah. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to be the center of attention at any moment where everyone is just watching and not doing anything. Once I have a few of my signature drinks in me, I'm going to be all out there on the dance floor, taking my clothes off, oh, Shane. my suit off. Oh, but the, the signature drinks, uh, jokes aside, are a fun part of the reception. We're having a friend of ours, a celebrity bartender, uh, who will also put the left, um, coming to do fancy signature drinks for both of us. Yep. And... Uh, it's going to be fun. And I bet you're asking, <coughs> Hannah doesn't like to drink, so why would she have a signature drink? Well, mine is alcohol-free. What's the name of yours? Hannah's Zero Proof Elixir. <laughs> That's what the Eric the bartender came up with, so I love that name. <laughs> and mine is Shane's Slurp Derp. That is not what Eric the bartender suggested, but Shane changed it to that. So <laughs> It might not end up being that. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still thinking of names. Mm -hmm. If you have any... Name suggestions. Oh, yeah. Now, we're pretty far in the video. I don't know if anyone's going to watch to hear, but... The eight of you are still here. If you have any name suggestions for Shane's signature drink, that would be helpful. All right, last question. We made it to the end. Wow, this is a this is a journey. It's a bad one to end on before we, like, turn the camera off and just go about our day. Have we had any big fights in the planning <laughs> process? <laughs> um, no. We really have not. We have not had no. any fights. Even like the thing that we disagreed about the most, like the suit. Yeah. I, even though I don't want to, I've just been like, yeah, I'll wear one because that's what Hannah wants. Like, mm -hmm. that's what you do. Yeah. Um, but no, we've had a lot of like mutual, like, freak outs where we're both like, ah, yeah. everything's a failure. Yeah. Um, but no, we haven't gotten mad at each other. Nothing against each other. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was our wedding Q&A. Wow. The, the the official. Yeah, well, we can do another one like after the wedding when we have like how was like it? how was yeah. the wedding? That'll be fun. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or it'll be terrible when we're like Depends how it goes. didn't go well. <laughs> oh, a lot of people also asked if we're gonna make a wedding video. Oh yeah. I don't know why that wasn't on the list because I'm pretty you sure read me that one. Read it out loud. I wrote down everything that you said to me. I don't think so. Um, we are going to take our own videos at the wedding and yeah. put together a normal vlog. We are not paying for a videographer. That was a part of the budget where we were like, wow, videographers are expensive. This is a small wedding. Yeah. We don't. And also we didn't want one of those wedding videos that was just like a generic wedding video uh -huh. with like, you know, drone shot of the building, <laughs> slow-mo of like yeah. me putting my hair behind my ear. I don't know. All Everything's like, in black and white. Yeah, just like the and the soft music. Like we just didn't really want that from the beginning and we wanted it to be 
our style. Our style. And so I think, you know, the best way to do that is just to take our own videos. So we'll just have a normal vlog every day. And yeah. It'll be fun. And we'll take some videos yeah. of it and it'll be fun. Okay. We'll document all the failures yep. throughout the day. Hopefully there's no failures. All the issues. <laughs> um, but no, it should be good. We're coming in on the, the big day now and uh, yep. everything is falling into place. Yep. I'm excited. I'm excited too. It's happening either way, so <laughs> might as well be excited. <laughs> and Shane doesn't want to waste time reading off all the vendors, so I we just will list them. To find them all. I, I, the, we'll list them all in the description. You know, photographer, and you know, we'll like put their what yeah. they are and who it is, so you can find them if you are interested. Yeah. All right, everyone. All right. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye.